Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Post 79 American Legion, I want to welcome you here this morning for a short ceremony, but a much needed one. At this time, our post chaplain, Legionnaire Lapierre, will do the in, will present the invocation. Uncover. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, with reverence and love, we pause to pray tribute to our honored and valiant departed comrades. Grant that we may ever be mindful of their service to God and country, and to our comradeship with them in the ranks of the American Legion. Hollow graves, they hollow their graves, give courage and comfort to those having suffered the loss of the loved one. Watch over the graves of our comrades. Grant eternal rest of their ashes, peace and happiness to their souls, and keep them till the hour of final revival. On that day when they are called before the divine commander, may all these men be present and accounted for. May their souls and the souls of all departed veterans rest in peace. Amen. Thank you, Paul. Cover. Cover. No. At this time, I will read the names of those who left this small town and did not return. Revolutionary War, James Abbott, James Butler, William Davis, James Earl, Abel Getcho, Henry Hansen, James Knox, Simeon Lord, Moses Spencer. Civil War. Civil War. Elbridge Colomy. George Frost. George Gower. Ivory Guptill. Francis Hurd. Samuel Knox. William Knox. William Lord. Brian Merrill. Festus Porter. Joseph Roberts, Sylvester Roberts, Ivory Stillings, James Thompson, Isaac Gibbons, Albert Walker, World War I, Charles S. Hatch, Ernest Horn, Paul Huzzy. Roland Pratt. World War II. Forrest Bassett. Robert Burgess. Ralph Clark. Richard Day. Robert Goodwin. Leon Hartford. Marcel LaJoy. Robert Matthews. George Ricker. Louis Saffison, Francis Stables, Robert Tibbs, Korea, James Malloy, Vietnam, James Dufal, John Knight. At this time, 
will replace the memorial wreath on the morning.
We gather today to honor their memory and sacrifice. It is in the words of Lincoln altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. Each spring as the flowers bloom and the promise of new life unfolds around us, we are reminded again of the words of the Apostle Paul, who rhetorically wrote, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? As a nation, we humbly thank these brave soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and coast guardsmen for the ultimate sacrifice that they gave for us all. We trust by faith in our great commander who has given us the hope of life beyond this mortal realm. As much as it is incumbent upon us to honor their memory, we would be remiss if we failed to remember the reason they gave their all. One thing all of our honored dead have in common is a pledge to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Our Legion preamble admonishes us to combat the autocracy of both the classes and the masses, as well as to safeguard and transmit to posterity the principles of justice, freedom, and democracy. These are not just idle words that we say each time we need to fill the time. They are, I submit, the very principles for which these honored dead gave their last full measure of devotion to again quote me. In times of great trial and difficulty, it behooves us not to lay aside these principles, but rather embrace them more preciously. It is bearing, in the words of Thomas Paine, the times that try men's souls that these principles become even more important. Presently, as a nation, we are undergoing a time of great trial. An invisible enemy, a virus, has affected every one of us in some way. I believe, once again, that our American, preamble, American Legion preamble gives wisdom in how we should respond. Firstly, as we are doing here today, we are admonished to preserve the memories and incidents of our associations in all wars. The memories of those who gave their all remind us that there are some things worth dying for. Justice, freedom, and democracy were worth it to those we honor today. Finally, we are asked to inculcate a sense of individual obligation to the community, state, and nation. Each one of us has the obligation to strive to serve the communities our fallen heroes died to protect. In closing, today we stand in honor of these, our brave comrades, who gave their all. We have a debt of gratitude that we can only repay by preserving that for which they sacrificed all. May we always do our part to ensure both their, their memory and freedom they fought for were lost. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Commander English. At this time, Legionnaire Hapsol will raise the national colors.
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we ask thy blessings may be restored on our friends and loved ones. We thank thee for this opportunity to share with them the special occasion to honor our veterans on this Memorial Day. Let us always honor the memory of those brave soldiers who gave the supreme sacrifice so those of us may experience freedom in a country that is free. Heavenly Father, keep their families in your kind care. Bless them and comfort them in their time of sorrow. Let us be reminded of life, liberty, justice, freedom, and democracy, that we may be ever grateful to you for those comrades who did so much for our country. We ask our blessings upon this service, and as we depart, grant unto us thy continual fellowship that makes abiding peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony, but before we leave, I want to thank Mr. Collins for playing the trumpet. Thank you. You did a good job. I want to thank the Post 79 Fire Squad for their outstanding work, and I want to thank our Vice Commander for the outstanding presentation. Thank you very much. Get yes,